Now for the new technique helping people get 2020 vision back without surgery. He's looking at you, kid. Your vision should be good enough after this to, to go without your glasses. In the eye test, I can read further lines than I was able to. And also just in daily life, I can see things sharper. On average, we expect uh, patients to improve two lines of vision on standard vision chart. This was how Andy Lotsoff saw the world. Then she tried Revital Vision, a new computer program that uses simple exercises to train the brain to better use vision. After the course, she claims she sees with greater clarity. Feel liberated. You can just see something that you haven't seen and you wonder what you were missing. Andy's optometrist, Beverly Sacco from Eye Design, says the technology is an eye opener. It's not changing the eye itself, it's changing how the brain perceives the image. Effectively, it's, uh, it's training the brain to more efficiently uh, interpret the images that it sees. Ignatius Kukuris distributes Revital Vision in Australia. He claims the technology can fine-tune vision after surgery. Other patients may be able to throw away their specs for good. Some patients they should expect to see without their glasses unaided and for some patients they should expect to improve their vision with their glasses. Maybe O again? I'm starting to guess. <laughs> Shoshana Berkowitz suffers from amblyopia, yep. or and what's known as lazy eye, which simply means one eye is significantly weaker than the other. It would be life-changing for me with, um, you know, just having that security that I have better vision. She says the course, which costs between $750 and $1,000, is a worthwhile investment if things could start looking more like this. Simple? Certainly. Non-invasive? Absolutely. But you're supposed to do three 25-minute sessions a week for eight to ten weeks, so it definitely requires commitment. However, vision is fundamental it's the thing most people don't want to lose and the thing that most people want to optimize andre morgan should know an optometrist herself she has press biopia a diminished ability to focus on near objects the scourge of growing older i've always had good vision and i'm in my 40s and i've just started to hold the paper further away she's a third of the way through the program and says while not a cure-all it has improved her vision what we're lucky enough to be able to start to do is to work at the brain level where the vision's coming from. Another new concept uh, purportedly to, to, to solve the world's problems. Peter Larson from Specsavers says Revital Vision's promises are short-sighted. This is giving false hope to people. There are well-trained optometrists who can tell you what to do, give you vision therapy uh, programs to deal with your vision under the current Medicare system. You don't need to go and spend lots of money based on a brochure and promises which perhaps won't be kept. It's not a medicine, it's not a surgery, so there are no known risks or complications, no needles and it is non-invasive. So really there's not much drawback other than the time commitment. Refractive surgeon and ophthalmologist Dr Abby Tennant admits she was sceptical at first. It looked like a bit of hocus pocus initially, but I have been impressed reading the studies and actually seeing improvement in patients. Dr Tennant says she's impressed with how the program works. Of course, like any technology, it's not going to have a 100% success rate for every patient, but I can't really see much downside to trying it.